Okay, nice and close and cluster away. Come on, give me three, give me three. Yeah, woo! Hey guys, Drewski here. Today we're trying out Tiny Combat Arena. This is a flight sim game that I've been watching on Twitter get developed over the last, I don't know, year or so. And it is a pretty cool little idea. A flight sim game that's simplistic in its graphics, but also almost stylistic too. And also approachable to anybody who just has either an Xbox controller or a mouse and keyboard, or even a full set hotas like I do. I reached out to Micropros on Twitter and they gave me a free early copy of the game. So might as well check it out for you guys. All right, so I set up all of my binds, which was actually surprisingly easy with the joystick and, and throttle. I mean, usually that's pretty difficult in games, but if you're used to the way that binds kind of work in DCS, or even if you are an Arma 3 player, you're gonna be pretty dang used to this. Um, here's the quick mission builder. I haven't flown in combat yet in the game. I just went into a free flight earlier to, to get all the controls ready, but... Um, you can select the number, oh wait, uh, no you can't, but you can select the number of aircraft that fly in the combat zone. So these are friendlies, you got F4s, F5s, AV8Bs. I'm gonna have some other AV8Bs and then also have some F4s with us. And then on the enemy team, we can put MiG-21s and MiG-23s. Uh, but before we get into it, I do wanna shout out our sponsor for today's video. This video is sponsored by Monster Legends. Monster Legends is a free to play mobile game available on both Android and iOS, where you can collect hundreds of monsters with different rarities and elements, breed new monsters to create your species, level them up and create a strong team for action packed PVP battles where you can conquer the adventure map, explore the dungeons or even fight real time against your friends. One of the coolest features in the game is the YouTuber Island, where you can find monsters created in collaboration with some of the biggest YouTubers out there. Right now, for the first time ever, there's a special YouTuber challenge available only for new players that gives you the chance to win some of those YouTuber monsters absolutely for free. All you have to do is collect the coins by completing various tasks in the game and use those coins to flip the tiles in the challenge and under each tile is a different reward that's hidden. And under some of them, you'll be able to find those awesome YouTuber monsters. If you download the game through my link in the description, you will also get in-game rewards, 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the epic monster Kaori. Do note, this is a limited time reward, which is only available until March 3rd. And again, thank you to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. All right, so we are in game. Track IR works immediately, which is hilarious. I didn't even think about that, but yep, I've been flying an Arma all day, so I still have my Track IR plugged in and on, and it works in game interesting that's a good sign uh we've got a, a different weapon select we got mark 20s i have no clue what mark 20s are i know what mark 83s are and aim nines and looks like the bandits are coming up pretty quick so we're going to i'm not gonna shoot right now that's kind of cheap we're gonna get into the merge oh track guard turns a little differently and i think i just had a missile go right by me how off four can you shoot this? Oh, that did not track at all. <laughs> all right, let's turn, turn with him. This plane is uh, it's uh, very slow to turn. I don't know. I've never flown the AVAB in DCS, but compared to like the F-18 in DCS, this thing is actually pretty. So that's way too far, isn't it? Oh nope, I got him. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. Oh, he's turning right, not left. I miss, misread what he was doing there. Ooh, got him. <laughs> yes, it was actually really easy to bind all the controls. I did do a free flight before this to get all the controls set. But once that once that was done, I mean, this is this is actually very uh, controllable, simple flight mechanics. Oh that are pretty close to sim too, which is fun. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that was a mistake. As an AVAB, I would not want to get into a guns fight with a MiG-21. That would be death, probably certain death. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, I couldn't get him, I'm gonna go after this guy. Let's see if I can get a long shot here. Oh, nope, he's turning. Oh, he, wow, look at that, he's going evasive. I'm going way too fast. Oh, it kind of locked on for me there. Oh! oh. 
<laughs> oh, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna have to kill this guy or I'm gonna hit him. And I committed. I committed to it. We don't... We don't do things halfway around here. Oh. Oh, he's dead. Oh, was that an ejection seat? Oh, it was! Look at the little parachute! That's so cool. Is that a bandit behind me or is that an F4? I think that's an F4. Alright, so we can switch weapons to... Uh, which one's selected? Mark 83, Mark 20. I believe the Mark 20 is a cluster. Let's try it out. Bonk. Oh, I definitely pulled negative Gs as I d deployed that, but let's see, and... Ooh. Yeah, clusters are always going to be fun in video games. Because you can't commit a war crime if it's a video game. Mom, it's not war crimes, alright? They're digital people. I'm teabagging, alright? Let's get those shilkas. I think they're shredding up our, our air guys. Uh oh. oh, they're about to strap me. Okay, there's one away, pickle. I don't know. Uh, I got one kill. I got one of them with that. All right, so there's different types of missions. You can do a strike or you can do dogfight. I want to try out the dogfight. You can set up. Oh, you can set up more planes. I thought it was going to be like AAA or something. Um, let's have some AV8Bs on our team as well as some F4s. So our kit now is two AM9Ls like before. Uh, aim eight, aim eighty two Bravo. Is that like an aim one twenty? Like an off brand aim one twenty? Uh, aim sevens. Okay, aim sevens. I know what that is. Oh yeah, the HUD's just the same. But it has the growling tone even on the aim eighty two B. Interesting. I don't know. Uh, aim eighty two B must be a heat seeker of some sort. I. I am very interested in the AIM-7s, because that's the one radar guided rocket or missile here. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty sick, gotta admit. Oh, the audio is glitching out a little bit. I think the amount of planes in the air might be uh, making the game not like me. Alright, Fox 2, I think he's close enough. Oh, he's flying cold though. Uh oh. And this is really far down. I can get him with guns if the missile doesn't hit him. Oh, he's turning into the missile. It might hit him. Nope. Got him with guns. You can see the parachute right behind him too. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. Ooh. Get that off bore. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's sick. I think he's still up. Yeah, he's still up. So that's cool. They can take hits but not be fully damaged. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, like if this game is 10 bucks, heck yeah. If this game is 10 bucks when it comes out, which I, again, have no clue, heck yeah, buy this game. This is a fun game. It's obviously very limited. There's not much more you can do other than these game modes at the moment, but I'm guessing as much as the developer, which I think is a single man, has been uh, working on this game, I'm pretty confident he uh, is going to keep improving it, because this is obviously a pretty cool labor of love. Fox 1. Splash. Oh, I love the screen shake effect, too. It just, just makes it bold whenever you hit somebody up close like that. Oh, let's see if we can get this guy. The aim 9. Fox 2. That's going to be a tight turn. <laughs> and the way they blow up is so cool. It's so visceral. I love it. Very well done designing and uh, just all the effects. Like you could see a shockwave in that too. You can see this guy flying above the water. How pretty. How cool. Let's see, we have still aim 82 bs I have no clue what these are. Fox 2, this would not be a good situation to Fox 2 in, with friendlies everywhere. Oh, is that going to hit him? No, it missed. Those AIM-82s, they're not very fast. They don't go far at all. Got him. Uh, next target, I don't think there's any targets this way. I think that might be, is that a bandit there? 
Oh no, there's the rest of the bandits. Two are after a friendly. Too far to reach them at the moment. Uh, they're going cold. This guy's going hot though. Ooh, wait, lock? Does that mean I'm getting locked on? I do want to turn the difficulty up a little bit because they are, I have not been shot at, I don't think. Oh, there's a bandit right behind me. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. Look at that. He's like, we're going to enter a one circle here? <laughs> oh, he's getting shot at by another friendly. Get him, friendly, get him. Otherwise, I'll have to fox too. Oh, I'm being hit too. From what? From where? Yep, there's a bandit. Oh, that was a bad shot. That was terrible. That was terrible. All right, so there's an arena demo, which is some sort of like conquest mode. There's our airbase, and then, oh, I guess it's already starting. Um, armored units will hunt other ground units. Interesting, mechanized un units can capture strategic targets when inside their capture radius. All right. Sounds like a little conquest mode, basically, because mechanized are the logistics. Armor will hunt mechanized. So there's BTRs off to our left. That's interesting. I've got BTRs on my team. Oh, no, they're attacking BTRs. They're M60A1s and M1 Abrams attacking BTRs. Got it. All right, let's... Uh, ooh, these are a lot closer together, which means... Cluster bomb. Pickle bombs away. Let's check that out. See if we missed. Oh, no. One kill. One kill. Not not too bad. I don't think the buildings are objectives right now, so we can just go in with purely... Uh, purely our bombs on the, on the bad guys here. And pickle. 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 I love the sound. Oh. Okay. That was not a bad run. Five kills, maybe maybe six. But we used a lot of our Mark 20 clusters, so we're going to have to use guns pretty quick after this. That should change the tide of this battle, though, because look at all my guys that are flying in, driving in. Look at the amount of those guys. There's not, there's not many of them left. I'm going to go in with, like, one more guns run. See if we can get, like, one of these things in the back. Nope. Nope, I'm bad at the game. Uh, and then we'll go attack this other group over here. And there is also an air battle happening. Maybe I should care about that. Just maybe. All right, pickle. I don't know how delayed that's gonna be though. Pickle. I definitely was pulling negative Gs on that pickle. And two kills. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you definitely need some training with those bombs. And I mean, they're clusters. They're not going to be the most powerful twos in terms of splash damage. So if one of the pucks or whatever they are lands too far from a BTR, like even 10 feet, it probably doesn't kill it. But the gun will kill things pretty effectively. Whoa! Uh, let's attack that bandit. There's a bandit right in front of us. I think coming towards us. Nope, he's cold, but we can still chase him. It's going left, beaming left, and turning in hot. And he's two miles, one mile cold. They're going right, oh, he's being hit by that gun. He's getting hit a lot, yeah, he's dead. All right, not too shabby, blue four. Not too shabby, let's try out these Mark 83s. Bonk. Well, I think those are more for buildings. Oh, there is an airbase. I guess we can kill their airbase. Is there any air defenses here? No? Okay. Pickle on that big hangar building then. There's the bomb. Watch it go. Oh, I might hit the ground. Okay, yep, hit the hangar. Those are uh, that little CCIP site. That I have for guiding my bombs in is pretty good. 
Oh, I can lock on ground targets. I don't know why. Maybe there's uh, Mavericks coming in the game or something later on. Maybe some laser rockets. Double Burt. Can we kill buildings with the gun? Ooh. Ooh, that like destruction sound. That was pretty neat. Okay, yeah, you can kill buildings. Playing this with a uh, full joystick and Hotas, like it, it's pretty, pretty dang good. Not joystick and Hotas. Uh, joystick and pedals, or Hotas and pedals, and Track IR. I don't know why. Just the implementation of Track IR um, that immediately worked without me even thinking about it speaks a fair bit to how much the developer actually plays flight sims, you know? It's not just like Star Wars Squadrons, which is an, is an amazing game, but was a PvP kind of flight sim game that was extremely dependent on awareness, yet didn't have track IR support at launch, and I don't think it ever got it. I'm not sure if it ever did, but not having it at launch was just like, what? What? You have VR. You have VR support, but you don't have track IR. Do you play flight sim games? <laughs> Ready? Bonk! Pickle! Let's get him! Come on, let's do it! Two kills! Two kills! Yeah! <laughs> I'm a natural, baby! I'm a natural. I seriously have zero bombs left, so I'm gonna have to go in with guns here. That one. Yep, got it. Got that one. That one. Ooh, slow down. Pull up. Wow. Hello, little BTRs. Yum, 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 yum. Those sound like the, uh... Oh, man. That little bullet whiz sound reminds me of a game called Ace of Spades. It was a block based shooter you could build bunkers i'm not talking about the new one on steam i'm talking about the old classic one you can still play it on a browser um or i think if you google open spades you can play it really really fun game where you could build bunkers and you had like you could choose between a rifle and an smg but the bullet whiz sound was very similar to whatever that one was <laughs> maybe a little bit higher pitch but it's like a fium, fium, fium. there's no bullet crack it's just a little whiz which I like. It's all this game is very cartoony, but then it mixes that sim element with the cartoon element. It's it's uh just makes it fun, makes it lighthearted. Go one watch tower down. You know, let's hit that with a cluster. See if the cluster kills that alone. Yep, it did. Nice. And, oh, there's BTR spawning in. Uh-oh, I clustered too soon. Let's hit them where they spawn. Don't let them give it, don't give them a chance. <laughs> Dude, the cluster is the most fun thing about this game. That thing is sick. All right, turning in. Yeah, baby! And let's try to get a cluster on those guys. I'm getting pretty good at the clusters. I've got the distance and the timing, I think, right now. That one hit there. Another hit on the other one. Two more clusters left. I think our team can definitely handle the rest of those BTRs, though, by themselves, honestly. But we'll still help out. I think that's the last thing we need to kill. It's that wave. Bonk and bonk. Uh, I think that second one is going to miss. Yep, both of them missed. Ugh. Jeez. Nope. Nope. Can't go anymore. I had to pause right then because if you could tell in my voice, I was actually getting very, uh, very flustered right then. Um, started to have a really bad migraine. So it's, it's actually 
the seconds that just passed in the video. We're probably like a good hour in real life. Uh, what were we doing? We were on the last objective here. I have nothing left though. I just have guns. Um, yeah, I had a really bad migraine, so I took some Excedrin, and now I'm back. I laid on the couch for about an hour. I just closed my eyes. My cat played with a string that I kind of tossed around while I was just sitting there. <laughs> pretty, pretty dang uh, dead for a good hour, but um, I get migraines from time to time. I'm pretty regular. Uh, so, airbase has been captured. Primary objectives complete. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So that's it. All right, we are done. Mission complete. I like how it took me like an hour to prepare for the last 30 seconds there that I needed to do. Um, whew, sorry, I'm also like out of breath. But uh, yeah, migraines are, they're no fun. But when I was on the couch, I was sitting there thinking about the video and I was sitting there going, man, it is so cool that I can, you know, do sponsored stuff or, or just check out games like this and have you guys totally be chill with it. I'm, I'm really grateful that you guys aren't too against me doing sponsors because you guys have no idea how much that helps me to do the sponsors. Uh, I'm paying off, or I'm not paying off, but I'm, I'm saving up to buy my wife and I and my cat a house, and I'm doing that with the cash that I get from doing sponsors and stuff and you know I, I've I was always scared when I started doing sponsored stuff especially just like the little ad spots at the beginning of videos that people would hate it and some people do some people are like I absolutely hate this but there's not really too many of them and there's a lot more people that are <laughs> that like meme and say like get the bag Drewski <laughs> and uh, I don't know it, it definitely it definitely uh, makes me happy to know you guys are chill with that and I appreciate it a lot um, dang, this game is pretty fun. Um, yeah, so that's basically the entirety of the game, is those two different modes. Obviously, you can customize one of the modes. Um, but also there's a database where you can go in, I know you can go and look at the different stuff. You can look at the fixed swing fighters, but the, uh, yeah, that's a MiG-23, AV-8Bs. I hope that they allow us to fly these planes in the future. I think that'd be pretty neat. F5. That's a plane I almost, I, I really, really want to get the F5 in DCS. But also the F4 Phantom is coming to DCS, so I don't know. Oh man, I feel so much better now that I, now that I laid down. I was not feeling good when I was flying that last part. I was like trying to have fun and I was like, you know what, I gotta get off. I gotta get off the, the whole thing. Oh, so there's support as well as transport. So there might be like VTOL aircraft in the future or maybe helicopters. Air defense, you can look at the uh, the little M163, it's a minigun, like the Vulcan, Shilka, SA-2s. I haven't fought any SA-2s though, I don't think, or SA-9s. Oh yeah, little scout cars. There's a lot of stuff here. Let's look at the AIM-82B, what is this? Very short range and maneuverable IR guided dogfight missile. Uh, compared to the AIM-9 series, this missile has a shorter range and smaller warhead, but is more maneuverable. Interesting. For larger targets, ripple firing may be necessary. Weird. I've never heard of these before. A fun game, a fun game, but definitely a little small scaled. Obviously it's called Tiny Combat Arena, um, but definitely a cool, interesting game that could have a very, very high potential for future content, uh, potentially multiplayer. I don't know if the developer is even thinking about multiplayer and obviously that's a huge undertaking, but would be cool maybe, I don't know. The aesthetic is awesome. I would like to see some, um, I honestly, am, I, I'm sitting here thinking that this game is missing music. I would love this game to have its own soundtrack to get them uh, to maybe potentially have some sort of producer come on and make some cool like synthwave 80s, you know, Top Gun sort of vibes going on in the background, similar to like uh, Project Wingman sort of vibe. Um, but yeah, still a really cool game. And again, thank you to our sponsor for today's episode, Monster Legends. I very much appreciate them sponsoring the video. Uh, you can check out the link in the description down below to check out that game. And I will see you guys in the next one.